hold up, I am on my way. I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach without freezing. Yeah, isn't that amazing? In Christmas time. We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Hey guys, it's Maury from Maury June, and welcome back to my channel for another video. Today's video is sinking funds. Um, my favorite, favorite thing about budgeting is sinking funds and cash envelope stuffing, and you guys know that if you've been watching me for a while, I could probably have 10 million different sinking funds if I had that much money. I just love everything about them. Um, the only thing I slightly dislike is actually using the money out of my sinking funds. I think it's so um, enjoyable and addicting to watch the money um, add up every single week or every single time I stuff my sinking funds, but I absolutely hate spending money out of there because I hate when it goes down. It's just kind of depressing. So anyways, that's what today's video is. Um, I am going to be counting all of my sinking funds that I have here. I have 10 different sinking funds. Um, I'm going to be counting them and uh, marking them down in my planner here. And this would be what I have going into the month of October. Um, I do this every single month, just kind of a catch up um, to see what I am working with going into October for my sinking funds. Uh, so I will go ahead and get everything set up. So I just sat down and did my October budget. Um, so you guys will have to check that video out. I will post that up in the iCard here. Um, and it was actually my very first time doing a zero-based budget for um, a monthly budget. I've never done that before. So I'm a little nervous about it because I don't have that cushion like I normally do, um, but I'm really excited and I think it's really going to help me stay on track with my budgeting and to be a little more strict um, with my budgeting. So go check that video out if you have not. But what we're working on today is sinking funds. Um, so I put these stickers down every single month in the same exact order. I have my budget here, my debt tracker here, sinking funds here, and then I also have um, on the next two pages, transactions and my weekly check-in. Um, but we are working with sinking funds. So I have, I will mark down the category and then what the beginning balance is going into October. And then at the end of the month, when I do my um, budget recap for the month, I'll come back in and uh, total everything that I added in for the month, everything that I took out, and what the ending balance is. So I just love doing this. I love the sinking funds video and being able to count the money and show you guys where I'm at. Um, I just think it's really fun and I love watching them too because I think it just gives you a lot of motivation. So hopefully it gives you some motiva motivation today. Um, if you guys are interested in any of the stickers or the binder or the sinking fund envelopes that I have in here, they are all on my website, um, www.morijune.com. But I'm going to go ahead and get started here. I'm going to switch these so I can write with my right hand. That would be a lot easier. Um, okay, so the very first sinking fund that I have is back to school. So I'm going to go ahead and get that written down. Um, while I'm writing this down, one thing about my cash envelopes, you can get them either hole punch to fit in a binder like I have here, or you can get them to where they actually don't have that extra lamination and they just fit into a wallet. Um, they all come with a personalized label on the front, or you can get a blank one so that you can write that in. And I use Erin Condren wet erase markers, which I also sell. Um, and then they have a tracker on the back so you can always see where you're at I always write down the date if I put anything in or take money out and then what the total is. Um, so that's just a little rundown of the envelopes. So back to school. I'm going to grab that out. So going into October, back to school has $120. And obviously school just started not too long ago, so I am replenishing that 
um, sinking fund for next year. And as you can see, I have on the back, I have my trackers with every time I put money in or took money out, which I haven't taken any money out. Um, so I like to do that just so I can look on the back of all of them and know exactly where I stand at any point in time. Uh, next is car insurance. And I just paid my car insurance not very long ago as well. So I'm replenishing this one. Um, this one has $60. Um, and with car insurance, I pay it on a six month basis. Uh, it saves me a little bit of money, and if I were able to pay it on an annual basis, I would definitely do that, but they only have monthly or um, six months available. So I pay it on a six-month basis, so again, I think it's in January is when it will be due again, so that's what I'm saving this money for, so that come January, I have that entire amount ready to pay my car insurance. Um, next is car maintenance. My birthday is in June, so I paid my car tags recently, so I'm replenishing this one for that as well. So car maintenance has $40 going into October. And you can use car maintenance for anything. Oil changes, save up on tires, I mean literally anything. So next is going to be Christmas. And Christmas has, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, six fifty-seven, uh, eight, eight fifty-nine. So nine hundred dollars is what I have for Christmas so far, and Christmas is not very far away. Um, I absolutely love having a Christmas sinking fund. It makes the holiday time with finances so much less stressful when I know that I have it all saved up. I don't have to try to pull stuff out of my checks that are coming in that I don't have the money for, so I really love having a Christmas sinking fund. Uh, next is FAIR, and I have explained what I use this envelope for in past videos, but um, my kids are in 4-H and the county fair is really big. Um, in my hometown. So that's actually what I'm putting money aside for is we spend the whole week at the fair. I take a week off of, of work for vacation for it um, because my kids are very involved in 4-H. They show chickens and rabbits, um, cows. So I take the whole week off and um, I like to set money aside for that because it is, you know, with, we try to eat as much as we can in the camper, but where you find yourself going to concession food stands a lot, and so just easier to set some money aside. So going into October, that one has 110, 15, 20. So $120. Um, so next is household. I still have yet to get down to Sam's Club, so this one is still pretty full. Uh, that is what I use my household envelope for. I use it for other things too. I mean, if I'm going to the grocery store and I need something, I'll pull it out of there. But usually I like to save it for when I go to Sam's Club. And the closest Sam's Club to me is like an hour away, so it's not super convenient. Um, but I have $150 in there um, going into October. Uh, next is kids. And I use this one for anything relating to my kids. If they um, need, or if they want to, like I just signed my son up for basketball, or I'm going to sign him up for basketball, so I'll take that out of there. Um, school pictures, if they want to go to a movie with a friend, or it's different things like that. Um, so that one has $150. Winter is coming up, so I am going to assume that I'm going to be buying some stocking hats and gloves, and because it never fails, we can't make it through winter without losing them. So um, that's probably what some of that money will be going to. Okay, next is personal care. And so I did get my eyebrows waxed at the end of September, so I did take $5 out for that. Um... So we have 50, 60, 70, 85. So personal care. 
personal care is 85 and that one I also use for haircuts and whatnot so you can see I have I put how much I put in every single week and then right here was when I took that five dollars out so I like to mark all transactions on the back of that so 85 for personal care and then next we have school tuition And that one is right at $100, so that is easy enough. And then last, I have vacation. I don't have a vacation planned, unfortunately, <laughs> but I like to save um, just in case. So I have one, two, two twenty, two forty in vacation. So I will go ahead and get all of these amounts added up. Slide that out of the way. Okay, so we have 120 for back to school, 60 for car insurance, 40 for car maintenance, 900 for Christmas, 120 for the fair, 150 for household, and 150 for kids. 85 for personal care, 100 for school tuition, and lastly is 240 for vacation. So going into October, I have $1,965 in sinking fund cash. $1,965. So like I said, um, at the end of the month when I do, or actually it'll be the beginning of November, when I do my budget recap, I'll come back in here, I'll mark down what I put into my sinking funds for the month, what I check out, um, and then what my ending balance is, which will be what the beginning balance is going into November. So, that's it. That's all my talk about sinking funds. Um, I think it'd be fun if you guys posted below what your sinking funds are or what your favorite sinking funds are um, or maybe what sinking funds you hope to have in the future. Um, I know there's a lot of sinking funds I would like to add to this but budgeting wise I'm not quite ready yet so once I get some debt paid off then I can hopefully add some more sinking funds um, categories. So again if you're interested in any of the stickers or the binder or the cash envelopes um, www.morijune is my um, the website and thank you guys so much for watching today's video thank you again to all of my subscribers and if you guys have not subscribed but you stuck around till the end of this video please subscribe I would love to have you in my little little budgeting YouTube family um, and if you guys have any questions leave them down below you can also email me at morijunedesigns at gmail.com um, and I will see you guys in my next video bye